warm greetings to all my students of grade 8 today we are going to learn the second chapter from the ncrt science book and the name of the chapter is microorganisms friend and foe we would have seen several kinds of plants and animals however there are other living organisms around us which we normally cannot see these are called as microorganisms or microbes microorganisms are classified into four major groups these groups are bacteria algae paramecium fungi protozoa and many other common microorganisms are found in the environment viruses are also microscopic but are different from the other microorganisms viruses reproduce only inside the cells of a host organism which may be a bacterium plant or an animal common ailments like cold influenza and serious diseases like polio chicken pox are also caused by viruses now let us see where do these microorganisms live some microorganisms grow on other organisms while others exist freely microorganisms may be single celled like bacteria some algae and protozoa are multicellular they live in all types of environment ranging from the ice cold climate to the hot springs and from the desert hot climate to the marshy lands they are also found inside the body of animals including the humans microorganisms play an important role in everyone's life some of them are beneficial in many ways whereas some others are harmful and causes deadly diseases so let us study in detail about some friendly microorganisms and how are they used in the preparation of varieties of things microorganisms help us in making of curd curd contains several microorganisms out of these the bacterium lactobacillus promotes the formation of the curd it multiplies in milk and converts it into curd microorganisms are also involved in making of the bread the yeast when we add into the dough of the bread it reproduces rapidly and produces carbon dioxide during its respiration the bubbles of the gas fills the dough and increases in its volume this is the basis of the use of yeast in baking industry for making breads pastries and cakes Now let us see some commercial use of microorganisms. Microorganisms are used for the large scale production of alcohol, acetic acid and wine. Yeast is used for commercial production of alcohol and wine. For this purpose, yeast is grown on natural sugars present in grains like barley, wheat, rice 
or crushed fruit juices etc and the process of conversion of the sugar into alcohol is known as fermentation process Louis Pasteur was the person who discovered the fermentation process in the year 1857. So the smell of the alcohol as sugar has been converted into alcohol by the yeast and the process is commonly called as fermentation. Now let us see the medicinal use of microorganism. Whenever we fall ill the doctors may give us some antibiotic tablets capsules or injections such as of penicillin so where does these antibiotics come from the source of these medicines are from the microorganisms the medicines kill or stop the growth of the disease causing microorganisms and such medicines are called as antibiotics antibiotics are even mixed with the feed of livestock and poultry to check the microbial infection in animals they are also used to control many plant diseases alexander fleming was working on a culture of disease causing bacteria and suddenly he found that the spores of a little green mold in one of his culture plates he observed that the presence of mold prevented the growth of that bacteria in fact it also killed many of these bacteria from this the mold penicillin was prepared edward jenner discovered the vaccine for the smallpox in the year 1798 Increasing soil fertility is also an important activity done by certain group of microorganism. Some bacteria and blue-green algae are able to fix the nitrogen from the atmosphere and enriches the soil with nitrogen and it increases its fertility. These microbes are commonly called as nitrogen fixers. microorganisms are harmful in many ways some of the microorganisms can cause us deadly diseases in human beings plants and in animals such disease causing microorganisms are called as pathogens pathogens usually enter our body through air we breathe or through the water we drink or through the food we eat they also get transmitted by direct contact with an infected person or it can be carried away by an animal the diseases that are spread from the infected person to a healthy person through air water or by physical contact is called as communicable diseases When a person is suffering from common cold he or she sneezes the fine droplets of moisture carrying thousands of viruses are spread in the air the virus may enter the body of a healthy person while breathing and can cause infections There are some insects and animals which acts as carriers of diseases and causes various deadly diseases. House fly is one such carrier. These flies sit on the garbage and on the animal waste and the pathogens stick on to their body and when these flies sit on the uncovered food they may transfer the pathogens into them. 
and whoever eats the contaminated food is likely to get sick. All mosquitoes breed in water. Hence, we are not supposed to let the water collect anywhere in tires, flower pots, in coolers, etc. By keeping the surroundings clean and dry, we can prevent the mosquitoes from breeding. Here is a list of various human diseases which are caused by various microorganisms. Some microorganisms can cause diseases in plants too. Plants such as sugarcane, apple, wheat, rice, etc. are mostly affected by these microorganisms. The diseases cause reduce in the yield of the crops. So it is our duty to control by the use of certain chemicals which will kill the microbes. Here are some examples of various microorganisms which causes plant diseases. Let us now study some common methods of preserving food in our homes. We have to save it from the attack of the microorganisms. Salts and edible oils are some of the common chemicals generally used to check the growth of the microorganisms. And so they are called as preservatives. We add salt or acid preservatives to pickles to prevent the attack of these microorganisms. Sodium benzoate and sodium metabisulfite are the common preservatives and these are also used in jams, squashes to check their spoilage. Common salt can also be used to preserve fish, meat. Meat and fish are covered with dry salt to check the growth of the bacteria. Salting is also used to preserve amla, raw mangoes and tamarind etc. Use of oil and vinegar also prevents the spoilage of pickles because bacteria cannot live in such an environment. Jams and jellies, squashes are also preserved by means of sugar. Sugar reduces the moisture content which inhibits the growth of bacteria which spoils the food. Even the heat and cold treatments are usually uh, done at homes by your mother for boiling the milk or boiling the water. Boiling kills the microorganisms and we can keep our food in the refrigerator and at low temperature it inhibits the growth of the microbes. Our atmosphere has 78% of nitrogen gas. The atmospheric nitrogen cannot be taken directly by the plants and animals. So, with the help of certain bacteria and blue-green algae which are present in the soil helps to fix the nitrogen from the atmosphere and convert it into suitable and soluble compounds of nitrogen. Once the nitrogen is converted into these usable compounds, it is utilized by the plants from the soil through their root system. The nitrogen is then used for the synthesis of plant proteins and other compounds. When the animals feed on these plants, they get the essential proteins and nitrogen compounds. And once the plants and the animals die, Bacteria and fungi present in the soil convert these nitrogenous wastes into nitrogenous compounds to be used by the plants again. 
certain other bacteria convert some part of them to nitrogen gas which goes back into the atmosphere as a result the percentage of the nitrogen in the atmosphere remains more or less constant hope you all understood the lesson about microorganisms their usefulness as well as the harmful nature in causing deadly diseases if you really like my video kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and like share and comment your views thank you